Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we need to do something a little bit different for our uh, gain possession handler. Uh, notice how we've got this possession cooldown value. Uh, and when we gain possession, we want the person who had possession last to activate their possession cooldown. Um, the reason is this, the reason for this is because we don't want them to be able to steal the ball instantly back from the player who just stole it, which happens pretty easily. Um, so let's, let's do this. We just, we just need to go to our game possession as possession equals true before we do anything. Yeah. So we just need to go back. We just need to say if possessing player dot value is not equal to nil then possessing player no it add a lose possession so we just didn't say lose possession on fire and pass in the possessing player not value so this should activate the possession cooldown so the player can't just steal the ball right back instantly um what else are we gonna do in this video okay so whenever we score we need to we need to well first before we do that i want to change this so the ball is not just always in the scene we want to put the ball in replicated storage all right the uh, ball's gone right so we need to go back to our start pre-game loop we need to reset the ball and then we also start post game we need to destroy the ball so let's go to our vents duplicate this reset ball and destroy ball come up to our events folder in our service script service add in a script we're going to call this reset ball get rid of the hello world duplicate it destroy ball all right so now we just need to say let's go to, let's do our just let's do reset ball first and we'll say local rs equals game uh, replicated storage local reset ball local ss equals game dot server storage then reset ball oh, what am i doing local reset ball equals ss events reset ball and local ball game ball equals rs game objects ball and then local ball equals rs and we'll say reset ball dot event colon connect function and then we will just say if workspace find first child ball no we won't do that we'll say if game ball value is not equal to nil then game ball value destroy and then now we will say local new ball equals game equals rs ball clone new ball parent equals workspace we'll also just to be safe we'll say uh, new ball that network owner to be nil and we will say game ball dot value equals new ball and so now we need to go back over to our start pregame ss.events.resetball. But now we also need a destroy ball. And then we will go to start postgame. We'll say ss.events.destroy ball fire. All right, let's test this out. So there should not be a ball at all since we start, and it should spawn in whenever uh, we go to pregame. So there's no ball, still no ball, and still no ball. Ball is not a valid member of replicated storage. Replicated storage. Reset ball 15. Uh, yeah, it is. Ball is not a valid member. Uh, it, it, I, I don't know why that didn't work. Let's try it again. Um, what the heck, dude? Oh, wait a minute. I need to go to... Uh, like, this isn't... This isn't anything complex. This should be working. Okay. All right. So yeah, there we go. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta make sure it destroys the ball. There we go. Destroyed it. Make sure it spawns again. Wonderful. 
All right, good deal. Uh, so that's going to wrap up this video. I will see you guys in the next one.